On behalf of the Department of Human Biology, I would like to welcome you all. This is a very important event in the university calendar. During this uh, event, we remember those who have donated their bodies and, and, and thank them and their families for doing so. The dissection of, um, of, of the human body is absolutely essential for the training of our future medical doctors. It is a privilege to stand here and share the podium with many of my ex and current colleagues and show our appreciation for those donors, those selfless donors and their families that have meant so much to me but has taught me to fully appreciate those immense selfless gestures the families and donors have shown by bequeathing their, don their donors' bodies and appreciate the way only these teachers can teach us. Kedava was all they told me, a tool used for us to learn. Empty of vigor, a shadow of life, the cause of death we would discern. We gave him a name that suited our wounds, replacing the one given by his mother. I tried to forget who he was before, a constant reminder that this was another. Knowing that there would be family members here to talk about the people who donated their bodies, there is a chance to restore personhood and identity to at least some of those bodies. These were the bodies of some of the most vulnerable people in our society. Because no loved ones claimed them from the Department of Health, they slipped through a tunnel of paperwork into the hands of the medical school. So let them be not as erased in death as they were in life. Let us mourn them too. Let them be human beings too. The knowledge that you are going to gain and give that to mankind I think that's the greatest gift that my sister could have given. We really are privileged to have people like you to serve us. Thank you. For me, I want to say thank you for that contribution. And what if it could be that we could continue to be this amazing contribution we be to everyone and everything. What a gifting and receiving this has been. It's been amazing. 